The news from Johnson & Johnson comes as new strains of COVID-19 have spread into the U.S. 41 Action's reporter Sarah Plague heard from doctors on the vaccine's efficacy and learned whether it's effective against mutations. Doctors say the new Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccine can be an important tool in getting as many people vaccinated as possible. So which one is best to use? The new Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccine is about 72% effective in the U.S. and 66% effective overall in preventing severe illness. Plus, it's only one shot. Many doctors say this Johnson & Johnson vaccine is good news as hospitals and clinics are dealing with lack of supply. Do you just give everybody one shot so you can get as many doses in as many arms as possible. Yeah. Doctors at the University of Kansas Health System say vaccine production is going to make the difference. However, vaccines from Moderna and Pfizer are over 70% effective with two shots. And I think, you know, that first dose of vaccine really develops the specific immunity to coronavirus. And then I think that second, that booster dose really uh, makes that specific immunity more robust. So yeah, that's the key. The second dose that. is going to be the key. Pretty soon it all feels like all the vaccines are going to be 70% with one shot and over 90% with two shots, at least between Pfizer, Novavax, uh, Moderna, and j, &J. Johnson & Johnson's vaccine hasn't been federally approved yet, but it plans to provide 100 million doses by summer. 300 million doses of the COVID vaccine in general are expected by fall. But this vaccine is less effective against variant strains of coronavirus, about 50% effective against the South African strain. If we can get above that 50%, I think overall for the global population, for the U.S. population, that's going to be a good thing. And then, of course, as the other uh, vaccines are made available, we will have just uh, more in that menu to give, especially certain populations. Johnson & Johnson says they're working to make its vaccine more effective against those other strains. Sarah Blake, 41 Action News.